Okay, welcome. We pushed up self care Sunday uh, up a little further. But anyway, welcome to Thrifty Verbal Lefty. I'm here to share with you my um facial, well, weekly facial of uh, charcoal and bentonite clay um mask that I use. So this is some hardwood clay. I ordered this hardwood clay from uh, Plant Guru. As you can see, they, they're a really good source. I um, use quite a few things from them. The Bensonite clay I got, um, this particular brand I got from Vitamin Shop, but I found another one when I couldn't find this at Target, which is a really good brand too. This Ramanuka Honey I bought from Kroger and they have two variations of the same one. But um, you can use regular honey that's not, you know, heavily, um, you know, something raw, pref preferably. But if you don't have it, use what you got. This is some eucalyptus oil, um, some almond oil. It's just whatever you want to put as far as your essential oil. I'm using the eucalyptus this week because it's more like a... Um, therapeutic oil it's something you smell a lot um, when you go get your feet done and things like that so you know just to bring that therapeutic mood in this um, spa you can also burn it in your diffuser or burn whatever it is that you like during you know your me time and stuff like that anyway, let's get into this. I'm going to use about a tablespoon no a teaspoon of the charcoal but when I use it, I'm going to use this because um, this is something that's disposable. Of course, it's always great to use something that won't get destroyed because this is very messy. And when it get on something, it's hard for it to get off. And I'm trying to get me a teaspoon. But I'm going to eyeball it because I don't want to ruin any of my um, items that I, you know, use on a regular basis like my measuring tools I might buy me a black one just for um, this but anyway put that to the side next your bentonite you can use your, your um you can use your spoon for your bentonite if you like or for real for real I can take this turn it the other way and take some of my clay and drop that in there as well And also, you're going to need a little bit of water. That's what's in this little cup right here. To the side. Now, my honey, I'm going to go ahead and use the spoon for my honey. And this is like a half a um, teaspoon. So, I'm really going to use just like a fourth because I don't need a whole lot. And um, try to get that off with this. And I took it straight out the fridge, um, so it's gonna be a little difficult to work with, but it's okay. It'll it'll make it work. It'll um, do what it do. Now, what I am going to do is clean the other end off of this, and this is going to be what I'm going to use to stir everything because, like I said, it's disposable. I think I got a lot of those sticks together at um, Michaels. Yeah, so it's a good source to go ahead and get some of those. But anyway, so my water. I need a teaspoon of water, but I'm gonna put two of these because again, like I said, that's a half a teaspoon. Okay. So then I'm gonna just mix my stuff up. That's it, girl. That's it. And we in there. We in there like swimwear. Now if it's not um mixing the way you want it, you can always add more water. Always start with less and add more to it. This one might have a little bit more um, clay and um, charcoal this time. So, I add a little bit more water. And it takes a little bit, you know, a little bit of arm grease to get this thing going. And... 
So if you want to go ahead and add your essential oil, you can. This time, I think I'm going to add the sweet almond. I'm not going to do eucalyptus. Add a few drops. I just want to retain some moisture in my face. That's all. Every week. Because, you know, um, in the summer, it's certain areas of your face that becomes a little dry and whatever like that. You can also use this as a good um, mask for like your leg or any other area of your body because you know the charcoal draws out the um, toxins and stuff like that. But anyway, so that's what we got going on right here. And the brush that I use is not um, nothing real spectacular I got it from the Dollar Tree in the um, beauty section so yeah that's it I'm gonna add a little bit to my face right quick so you can see what I'm working with Ew. okay can you see me I think I'm blocking the light. Mm, All right, here we go. So this is the same clay we just used. And normally I make sure my face is already clean and washed. Today I add my little um, good toner that I made. I'll probably share that next, but yeah. And I normally let this mask sit for about um, 20 to 30 minutes. Let it dry real good. And then I just use the um, washcloth. Now, I always use a dark washcloth. But... If you have something that's disposable, you can use any color you want. But... I'm making a mess. And I really, mm, uh oh, it's probably not thick enough. Okay. Anywho, putting on too much at a time. But, um, yeah. Okay, I'm not going to put a lot on today because I already did this treatment like two days ago. But uh, normally it's recommended to do it once a week, maybe every two weeks. But I definitely do it at least once a week. And my trouble areas is normally around my nose. Because that's my little area. I want to keep that shine. And also the Manuka Honey. Any product that I've ever used a Manuka Honey in, any of my soaps and stuff like that, it adds like a lot of moisture and a real good shine. But anyway, I'm going to let her dry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time. Remember, if you don't have nobody that fuck with you, as long as you fuck with yourself, you always got you somebody. I love you.